Hello guys, welcome to Himalayan Chronicles. Today we are going to see the Mac OS 15.1 on Mac Mini M1. As you can see, current version is 15.0.1. So recently today, Apple has released uh, the new version 15.1 with Apple intelligence enabled. So we are going to set the beta updates. However, it will give you a release candidate, the RC update. So it's going to fetch the image now. As you can see, 15.1. The version details include iPhone mirroring, Safari enhancement, customized focus intelligence, as well as a lot of other features are available. We are going to explore each and every feature in detail in this video. Please do not skip the video, see the video fully to understand the Apple intelligence in action. So roughly 2 GB, since I'm upgrading the from 15.0.1. So I just, uh, clicked on update and right now update has completed it rebooted it's showing 15.1 as the current version as you can see here when I click on the version number the build number is also clearly mentioned there is no alpha numeric B at the end so it means RC now we are going to set up Apple intelligence we need to ensure that uh, region settings as you can see need to be United States I'll set a US as the region and then the measurement as so updated accordingly it shows preparing so apple intelligence is initializing right now you are in the wait list will enable siri once the apple intelligence is enabled so as you can see a lot of options are available now siri provides voice feedback and type to siri also so right now it's preparing the apple intelligence on the mac mini m1 so it has completed now in the wait list turn on apple intelligence it gives you a splash screen which explains you the various details, summarize notifications, as well as proofreading, Siri enablement, voice feedback, type to Siri. A lot of new features are available, guys. Amazing, isn't it? I just enabled Siri. Now, listen for Siri. I can enable, you know, uh, Hey Siri option also. Voice feedback, we are enabling it so that Siri will answer each and every query. We can enable that. So, we are exploring all the options available here. Now we need to click on the Siri as well as the language is downloading right now, American voice, since we have selected America as the language, right? So now voice feedback is also enabled so that whenever you say, hey Siri, it's going to talk back to you. Okay, so these are new features and the performance is also good because release candidate, the performance is quite good. There is no delay much as you notice. We are exploring all the other options available within the Siri on the screen. And also it has got control center where you can add shortcuts, right? Where you can customize different details. Overall, if you see the performance is quite good, guys. So this build is also, today it is releasing 28th October. This is going to be released. Uh, if you already have a release candidate, then it might give you a small update to go to the final update. So right now I clicked on the Siri. I'm asking for where is the weather today. So it says location settings are not enabled. So it is not providing any input. I just asked a generic question. It's able to answer. I feel good. Thanks for asking. A lot of good features guys, literally. I really like the features available here. And as well as Salo Viplav, it says when I clicked on Siri, so it knows my name already. So guys, type to Siri option is also available as you can see. I can type in the dialog box directly. I can ask multiple questions to Siri as well. As you can see, responses are quite interactive. Now Siri supports composite queries as well. Means relative queries. I can see, you can see I'm asking what is the different times, current version and a uh, lot of other questions I'm able to ask. So as you can see here, the Siri along with Apple intelligence is much more matured and it's able to answer multiple queries. If I click on open settings, it's going to interact with the Mac OS itself. As you can see, Siri is opening the setting window directly. That's amazing, isn't it?
I also can set up alarm 5:30 p.m. So Siri, along with Apple Intelligence, can interact with your Mac operating system and do necessary changes as well. Not only providing information from intelligence point of view, but also it can do some settings on the Mac itself. As you can see, I'm asking times from different time zone: Chicago, Sacramento, California. It's pretty fast. Earlier Siri was okay, but now it is super fast. along with apple intelligence and you can enable voice feedback so that siri talks always whenever you ask any query to siri so other than that you also have lot of other features guys on this 15.1 version with apple intelligence is evolving so build by build apple intelligence features will be evolving soon so now after we play around with siri we will check different options like mirroring Yes, if you have iPhone, you can mirror the iPhone screen within the desktop. I can interact with all the apps of the iPhone directly on the desktop of Mac. Let me show you. Now let's see more Siri options as I told you. The voice feedback is one more feature that we are going to enable. Plus listen for Siri. Hey Siri, I can ask if you have a headphones. I can talk to Siri directly by using Hey Siri. and on voice feedback i enable that so that siri talks always so all these are good features guys amazing isn't it and uh, also if you notice overall interface is also pretty fast there's a new focus as well which will go in detail so it is intelligent focus like do not disturb mode it intelligently you can enable whom to allow whom to deny what application to be allowed what is the time zone location and so on so those notifications will only be visible as per your settings intelligently it will control the notification so that you can be concentrating on your current task without losing any other activities right so very good feature guys i really like it so let us check out iphone mirroring option if you have a compatible iphone 13 pro i have so i am just clicking on iphone mirror both should be connected to the same wifi network with the same apple id password as you can see i can see the whole phone displayed i can interact with the apps i can also interact with the home screen i can do app switcher where i can see multiple apps showing up as a slide and also i can see my contacts wow almost like an iphone in the mac right so also let me show you other options i can move the widgets around i can play around with it i can move the icons let us open youtube let's see how will it play and if i can move it to landscape so i am opening my channel himal electronics one of the video i clicked on it so when i go to full screen it automatically moves my window to horizontal amazing isn't it now when i click on the particular option to see the icons let's say i click on that automatically it goes to vertical it shows the iphone screen as icons wonderful guys amazing so let's go back to the youtube video and automatically it goes to vertical horizontal mode seamlessly when i go to app switcher i can also see other apps currently running in my iphone wonderful feature so this features are all coming to apple intelligence more and more features are getting added as build by build are getting released currently we are using 15.1 that is the latest bill as per october 28th wonderful guys one of the wonderful feature is i can copy paste objects or photos from my iphone to mac and back so i can go to photos of the ios iphone just drag a photo or a video to the desktop as you can see it just copied seamlessly and i can copy any video from the mac into the iphone amazing isn't it ultimate this feature is just amazing guys as you can see it's importing i just dragged one video onto the my photos app on the apple iphone and it's able to directly seamlessly copy 
copy and paste to and fro between devices. I enjoyed this beautiful feature guys, very very useful. So let us see what are the updates of Keynote, Pages, Numbers and iMovie and also Photos of course. So when I open that particular uh, you know uh, Keynote or Numbers or Pages, I can see all the different templates. Now I have typed a sentence, let us do some proofreading with Apple Intelligence. So I need to select the text, okay. Once I select the text, I can do make it concise, make it more professional or make it more casual. So all these are great features, especially useful when you are writing a book or a letter or a memo. And this feature is available in all the apps, not only numbers or pages, but also in notes as well. Wonderful guys, as well as keynote everywhere. As you can see, it's able to modify the proofreading and I can click on replace to replace the text very seamlessly. I really like Apple Intelligence as it's evolving day by day on the Mac. So as you can see here, I am changing the sentence to concise, more professional, more casual. A lot of many features are available guys and I can replace. Wow, I can work very seamlessly using Apple Intelligence. Wonderful. So let us try to navigate other applications as well. Okay. So let us try to navigate. Uh, let's see uh, what else we will open. Let's open Photos app. Okay. In Photos app, earlier memories were already there. But now, duplicates are also visible. I can click on duplicates and there are utilities. And as well as uh, you have an option to recover any corrupt photos as well. Plus, it also gives you featured photos. For example, any location I want to search in my photos, it can uh, scan the photos for any particular location and it can bring up those details. People also it can find. So since I don't have much photos in my system, we'll do a test later once I have photos with all locations so that I can seamlessly check it out. So some of the features are enabled here as part of 15.1. Really amazing features guys. So let's go to focus settings again. So when I click on intelligent focusing, instead of do not disturb intelligent focus, I can seamlessly allow or disallow the applications or particular notifications as well as depending on the location and as well as time. I can specify a particular time when the notifications are allowed and also it can summarize the notifications very seamlessly, right? And also it supports hand off to multiple devices. If I enable here, if I have paid iPhone, iPad, any other products, it can seamlessly take the settings automatically. And here you can see time also, I can mention what time this feature need to be enabled. So all these can be customized very easily. Really love this feature as well, especially useful when you're busy doing some tasks, right? And that's about it. The Mac OS 15.1 Apple intelligence inbuilt. And here also you can see in the control center itself, I can make that particular focus enabled. That is also a very good feature. So we will going to explore more and for, more and more features soon. So thanks for watching Mac Mini M1 on 15.1 Mac OS. Thanks a lot.